Good evening. Welcome to Empty Cross Ministries Daily Devotional. This evening, I want to take a look at Genesis chapter 27, verses 41 through 43. And then again, we're going to skip a few and go to Genesis chapter 28, verses 10 through 22. This is all about Jacob's dream at Bethel. Esau held a grudge against Jacob because of the blessing his father had given him. He said to himself, The days of mourning for my father are near. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. When Rachel was told what her older son Esau had said, she sent for her younger son Jacob and said to him, Your brother Esau is consoling himself with the thought of killing you. Now then, my son, do what I say. Flee at once to my brother Laban and Haran. Jacob left Beersheba and set out for Haran. When he reached a certain place, he stopped for the night, because the sun had set. Taking one of the stones there, he put it under his head and lay down to sleep. He had a dream in which he saw a stairway resting on the earth with its top reaching to heaven, and the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. There above it stood the Lord, and he said, I am the Lord, the God of your father Abraham, and the God of Isaac. I will give you and your descendants the land on which you are lying. Your descendants will be like the dust of the earth, and you will spread out to the west and to the east, to the north and to the south. All peoples on earth will be blessed through you and your offspring. I am with you and will watch over you wherever you go and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. When Jacob awoke from his sleep, he thought, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I was not aware of it. He was afraid and said, How awesome is this place! This is none other than the house of God. This is the gate of heaven. Early the next morning, Jacob took the stone he had placed under his head and set it up as a pillar and poured oil on top of it. He called that place Bethel, though the city used to be called Luz. Then Jacob made a vow, saying, If God will be with me and will watch over me on this journey I am taking, and will give me food to eat and clothes to wear, so that I return safely to my father's house, then the Lord will be my God. And this stone that I have set up as a pillar will be God's house, and of all that you give me, I will give you a tenth. <clears throat> Jacob and Rebekah, by scheming, won the birthright and blessing for Jacob. But in doing so, they won for themselves something God would have given Jacob anyway, and lost much in the process. Now, as a consequence of Jacob's deception, he must flee his home to avoid his brother's wrath. Jacob will have difficult years ahead, and Rebekah will never see him again. Despite Jacob's selfish ways, God provides a special vision at Bethel to reassure him that God will go with him, will never leave him, and will fulfill the promises he has made to Abraham, Isaac, and now to Jacob. Jacob's response establishes a pattern that Jews and believers since have followed as response to God's faithfulness and grace. Prior to this vision, Jacob has viewed God as belonging to his fathers. Now for the first time, Jacob, com Jacob considers that the Lord will be my God. Jacob also recognizes at Bethel <coughs> excuse me, 
that all he has belongs to God. He pledges to give back 10% of his belongings and in this way bless God and others. Jacob is so moved by God's word to him and his vision at Bethel that he set stones in place to memorialize his visitation from God. He thus creates a tradition for believers affirming the importance of memorials or milestones, physical reminders of God's work in our lives. When we make these memorials, perhaps planting a tree, creating a wall hanging, or keeping a journal, we create a tangible memory of God's presence and His personal care for us. I'd like for you to meditate on tonight and contemplate on this evening. Is this, can you recall a time when God made one of His promises very clear to you? What kind of memorial have you made to commemorate this promise? The song I'm going to play now, I should have played yesterday and I clicked on the wrong one. This is called The Names of God, as we, since we talked about names yesterday. Jehovah 